right, Lou. Well, two goals, three points away from home, uh, and a come from behind win. You must be happy with that performance. Yeah, look, um, regardless of the result, I thought, you know, we, we played very well today, especially in the first half. Um, you know, I think Port had about a 15-minute patch in the second half. Um, but then again, you know, we looked da dangerous on transition. So, uh, no, look, very happy. Obviously, you know, we haven't won for about four weeks, I think, or three weeks, something like that. We've been unlucky in those games. So it was good, you know, to come back from to, uh, from behind and Port showed a lot of character. Um, it's also great to see, you know, there Mark Ellis and Paul Harvey, the new boys, score goals. And, We'll just get bigger and stronger as, as the boys start gelling together. Yeah, on the new boys, you obviously delight. You know, two of them, the, the front three seem to be gelling well, and Harvey, that goal in the second half was especially impressive. You know, how, how much does it make you feel good about your movies in the transfer window? And of course, trying him probably wasn't even as influential today, but knowing, of course, the impact he can have, does it really bode well for the rest of the season? Yeah, look, uh, it's always good to sign a couple of players that will make a difference in any team. So, um, you know, we've been missing a, an out and out striker. Uh, not just this year, probably for a couple of years, and you know Harvey showed um, what he can do. Uh, he does it at training every session, so he's great at doing that, holding the ball up, turning and shooting. So it makes a massive difference for us. You know, Theo, the more games you play, the better you'll get. Um, you know, let's not forget Daniel Clark is, um, you know, the boy from Queensland. Uh, it's been a tough week and a half with him to coming into the team as well. So you know, he was superb as well until he got a little bit tired. So overall, the three signings have been fantastic today. A few recent losses or, or draws when you've been creating plenty of chances. Did you feel you needed a night like tonight to give the boys some confidence heading into the second half of the season? Yeah, definitely. Look, the, the message before the, the game was, you know, I think we've got 18 points um, out of 12 games. So, uh, and I believe, you know, we're probably four or five, maybe six points um, further back than we were supposed to be, especially in the first half of the season. I said the second half is a fresh start for us. Um, if we can get a positive result tonight, um, and then hopefully we just keep working hard and we'll, ride, we'll, we'll uh, ride a bit of a wave and hopefully get another win next week against uh, Avondale. The only real moment of controversy, I guess, was in the lead-up to your first goal. Eric uh, Saladis felt that maybe there was a foul in the box. From your angle, what did you feel of the decision? Did you think it was a penalty? Or, to be fair, do you think you know, the referee made the right call? Look, it, it's difficult to see from that angle, but he was calling for a handball um, edge of the box. Um, my interpretation of a handball or an intentional handball is the player's hands are, you know, trying to stop the ball the hands were close to his body so even if the ball did hit him there was no intention or you know stopping a goal or anything like that so if a player hits him you know hits the ball from a meter away and hits in the hand that's you know that is what he's in that respect but um yeah look uh, you know he, he, if you gain a bit of bit of luck you know maybe you get a penalty there or there on the up as well so and it was a good decision now favor awesome another uh, tougher away trip next week against Avondale. um will you be preparing the team any differently ahead of that game no, look, it's going to be a very, very tough game. Uh, Avondale play their pitch, their home ground very, very well. Uh, they've signed a few boys in the transfer window, so uh, it's going to be a, a big battle uh, out there next Saturday night. So are we going to train any differently? No, we'll continue working through what we need to work on, um, things to improve on today's game. Um, but no, look, you know, it's the same preparation. We'll train three nights this week and uh, hopefully give it what we've got uh, come Saturday.